Hello. In this video, I want to talk about my experience with depression. I probably started experiencing depression in early primary school, not early, mid to late primary school when I realised that I wasn't fitting in, I don't have any actual friends, and this feeling has continued with me and I'm still, well I'm okay with it now, I mean I have a handful of actually close friends and I'm thankful for them. And I wish I had the ability to see them more often, but I feel like my anxiety and depression get in the way of that. Um, my depression also gets in the way of me just functioning. I mean, I spend a lot of my time in pajamas. Um, I shower or really you know, wash my dishes or laundry or any of those things unless I really have to. Like if I'm running out of cups I'll wash cups and then maybe a few things other than the sink. If I'm running out of pants I'll wash some pants and you know. Um so what is getting me down? There are a few things. I mean it first thing is sort of the exis existential why am I here what is my purpose in life and you know I've been thinking over the last few years that my purpose is simply to help people when I can um, Again, I'm burdened by my anxiety, depression, and also my fibromyalgia, so I can't physically help you lift that couch, you know what I mean? Um, it's just really frustrating that I can't do the things that I want to do. Like I, I haven't really touched my clarinet for a while because I can't hold it. It just hurts. No, even playing keyboard, I can't do that for too long. I, I, uh, drawing, drawing is not so bad. Like I can do that for a while. I don't know the pain doesn't bother me so much where I'm drawing, but it's because I just I can't sit there and I can't do the same motion for too long and it's not just the things I like it's even like with with work which is what another thing that I guess gets me down is that I can't physically and mentally work full time and I don't think I ever will be able to and that's a really scary thing that I won't be able to keep a job because my body won't let me work my my brain is like freaking out um so obviously when I can't work I've got no money and you know you can't pay for your bills because I have fibro I look I need a psychologist a psychi psychiatrist for my mental health I needed a physio a physio also recommended a dietitian. Um, you know, I've seen a rheumatologist once, but I can't do that a lot because hey, that costs money. You know, I'm also going to be um, looking at like gender therapy, and that's going to cost money, which I don't know if I'll go through with because yeah, I don't have money right now. But I just feel like I have all these extra costs. And I can't deal with any of my health problems because once I've paid for rent and the bills, I have $60 in the fortnight for myself. And that's really hard to manage. So, um, you know, 
I have my own sort of emotion scale, which is zero means, um, you know, I'm so done, I want to kill myself, I fucking hate everything, nothing can bring me out of this, and ten is, yeah, it's a nice day, I've been quite productive, I've had a bit of fun. Um, but most of the time I'm probably a three, maybe a four. I just can't get motivated. Um, I feel nothing a lot of the time. Um, yeah. So that's that's what my depression experience is like. Thanks for watching.